Hi, my name is Robert Rotzler, and it's been a while, and I'm grateful to be in front of you again showing you how to play another classic rock song. Now, for years, I was a fan of Derek and the Dominoes' Layla. It was an amazing track. I'd never heard anything with such raw motion to it. And I endeavored to learn it, but I came up against an obstacle as a young violinist, and that is that it's written in perhaps the worst possible key to play it note for note with the record. And so for the longest time, I sat on it, not knowing, you know, what to do, play it in another key, but it just didn't seem right. So finally, I realized that if I wanted to play it, I was going to have to play it in a very difficult position on the violin, second position on the violin. When violin is taught, it's taught in first position and in third position, and they save second position for when you're in college and questioning whether or not you want to continue on the violin. Now... What I found is that if you can reconcile yourself in second position, if you can just accept it and work within it, it works fine. It works brilliantly. And the trick with it now is to hit your ringing notes. That is to say, in our case, second position D, normally a third finger in first position. We're going to zero in on it with our second finger. A whole step down being C. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is simple. What we're going to do is we're going to mimic the exact blues pattern that Eric Clapton used when he composed this. Years ago, he said he figured the melody or the running line for Layla in the middle of a jazz lick or a blues lick. And so I had to recreate that on the violin, and I think I found it. Now that's the first time that lick appears. It's actually a supporting line, and that's the line you play when someone else takes the lead, when someone else takes the solo. You play that particular line. The, the melodic solo, the part that comes out, the part that everyone recognizes is. Now the advantages of that lick is that the first one tops on a G, and again, we can hear it ring when played correctly. So we take it from there. The next note that rings in that series is the E, and the F is right next to it. For the record, this song is gonna be played mostly in C major, or A minor, I suppose. Now then, in this pentatonic, the second time this cycles through, we have an A, second finger, again, make it ring, third finger, E, will ring, and D will ring. Most of the notes of this lick will ring. Now that cycles through twice. When it cycles through the second time, we resolve it differently. I'm resolving to a C sharp here, because this is where the song breaks off. I take that moment to shift down to first position. Now I can follow this lick. I don't play the D there. That's one thing he avoids. So what we do is we play a supporting line for the vocal. The vocal takes it throughout this. It's actually a very heavily vocal song. And what we're doing is we're supporting it throughout. So then, after that, we repeat back to, back to our lick, back to second position. And it's important to note in this case, there are two second positions available to us. The first one is on C sharp with our first finger. 
the lower second position is on C natural. That's the one we want. That's the one where we will find our ringing notes. And the ringing notes, again, tell us we're in tune. So we have to, we have to really listen when we play this song. And that's hard to do when you're playing with an ensemble, with a group, with a band. It's hard to hear those. Ironically, the easiest way to hear it is to be out of tune. Don't be that guy. So, once we are done with this, and I'm not going to go into the solo because the solo is, that's up to you. I can get you to that point. I'm going to let you shine from there. What we end with, though, is when this song is done, done and dusted, it goes down to a beautiful C major section. This actually traces a C major chord very well. C, E, G, F, E, D, C. D, down to the G, C, D, E, D, C. A flat, C, D, E, G. That's really the toughest lick of that part. It's a beautiful section. I've actually played this for weddings on more than one occasion, especially when they wanted nothing but classical music. Like and subscribe. So, what we have here is a song that you can repeat and you can cycle through, and it's very soothing. At this point, it's like a, a, a gentle kiss on the forehead. And that's how this song should bring one down, bring one down into a lovely place. to the C here for this reason. I'm taking it down to A. We go up a fifth. We're still in C major. Octave G. Back to it. Same egress. drag with the first it's kind of a signature end of the song we can thank mr allman for that
This is Robert Rotzler, and you just heard Derek and the Dominoes, Layla. Thanks very much. We'll speak again soon, I hope.